AT&T employees are on strike right now. On Friday afternoon, the Communication Workers of America Union announced they're taking to the picket lines to protest what they say is unfair labor practices. It's affecting about 300 AT&T employees right here in Louisville and many more customers who could see delays to phone and internet services. The night team's Alexander Goldberg and photojournalist Aspen Hester spoke with union leaders today at the Bardstown Road picket line. Communication workers of America are on the picket line. We just want somebody from AT&T that can help us, you know, come to a, a working agreement. The union says AT&T management is not bargaining in good faith. So they filed an unfair labor practice charge with the National Labor Relations Board. Union leaders tell us that about 200 people have been picketing throughout the weekend, but they expect another 100 to join tomorrow. What they really want, however, is for AT&T to come to the bargaining table. All we're asking for right now is show up to the table and be able to bargain. Carolyn Kane, a union leader claims AT&T is surface bargaining, meaning representatives don't have the authority to make decisions. So we need someone at the table who can actually call the shots and actually make a decision. AT&T says the union's claims are not grounded in fact. In a statement, AT&T says in part, quote, we're disappointed that union leaders would call for a strike at this point in the negotiations, rather than directing their energies towards constructive discussions at the bargaining table. This action needlessly jeopardizes the wages and well-being of our employees. <laughs> Get somebody at the table and let's just get it done. 17,000 workers employed by AT&T Southeast in nine states are striking. Sunday is day three that customer service representatives and technicians are out of the office. We're sad that they had to come to this point, but we would rather be servicing our customers. AT&T customers could face phone and internet outages while employees are picketing. We are the skilled employees that make AT&T run. Uh, management does, it's not enough management to even cover what we do. AT&T says they do have measures in place to avoid service disruptions for customers. Woo! Diogenes Miller, president of CWA Local 3310, says their five-year contract expired earlier this month, but they've been negotiating since June. The Greater Louisville Central Labor Council received information about negotiations. AT&T allegedly offered a 1% wage increase and proposed increased cost of insurance. In Louisville, Alexandra Goldberg, WHAS 11 Night Team, on your side. The local CWA president said that as of today, parties have met several times but have not yet come to an agreement. The union's second vice president said unfair labor practice strikes usually don't last more than five days.